Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses. Today we have a few people left to talk to. Uh, Ignatz and everyone up here. So let's go to the Dormitory 2 and I will talk to Ignatz and then I'll explore the rooms kind of like off screen just to, uh, because it's going to take a while. But I also want to go over the battalions that I purchased and spent a lot of money on. I bought all the battalions that were in the battalion shop. Uh, anyways. I'm scared. I feel that I don't understand the world. Well, you are still How a teenager. How something like that happen to Gerald? He was so strong. Even the strongest dies when they get stabbed in the back. Even though you're scared, push through. You're inspiring, Professor. I'll do my best. All right, so yeah, I went ahead and I just got all the battalions that I could. I ended up giving Mercedes these guys. I did switch some battalions around. I don't exactly know which one's gonna be like. I gave Kronos in game Kronos the Empire Wyvern Co. It doesn't he doesn't lose any strength from it or physical attacks, but he loses some magic. Uh, and he loses, like, a lot of, like, crit and stuff like that, because Gerald's mercenaries are pretty good. I'm probably going to give that to someone soon, and they only require, like, an E. But seeing how the Empire Wyverns, they start with three strength, I'm assuming they're going to get really good as we level them up. I could be wrong on that one, but I went ahead and I gave Empire Magic users to Lysithia. She kind of needs a lot of the magic. Uh, I'm not really sure if what Mercedes has right now is going to be any good. However, her authority sucks. So I couldn't really give her anything, well, too good. Uh, maybe I train her a little bit in authority. I think she's weak in authority. So that might not be exactly viable. But, yeah, I don't know. She needs to gain some authority somewhere to start having better battalions. It was actually kind of hard for me to choose which battalions I was going to use on them because, well, aside from Lysithia's, she had plenty of choices. Her her authority is pretty high. But like Mercedes, hers isn't. And nothing was really good for her or fits her that well. So, I don't know. We are going to the library now. There was nothing in those rooms. Uh, when it comes to uh, the lost item stuff, I think I'm going to do that next time I explore. Just to kind of save myself a little bit of time today. And uh, maybe even get to the battles today. Get Encyclopedia. Unfolding plans. We could probably use a bit of more knowledge on that stuff. Because, good lord, I'm kind of whiffing on the, the harvest recently with flowers. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. I mean... We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now Gerald... I... I apologize. I kind of agree with you on the Monica one. Actually, I do agree with you on the Monica one. I don't know why you guys just let her back in the school. It was so suspicious. Like, gigantic red flag. no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. The Tomas one is a little bit different, right? Because the dude worked here for 40 goddamn years. Or what? Yeah, it was 40 years, right? And then he left and came back, like, last year. So... Her I'm not sure if this is what happened. I'm pretty sure, like, when the real Tomas exactly. the probably wasn't an enemy throughout, like, the 40-year tenure wow. here, and then he left, and either he got corrupted, because uh, the dude, you know, he does look like Tomas, or he got killed and replaced. But, I don't know, we might learn more about that, hopefully in the future. But I, I highly doubt the... I mean, that would be a goddamn... <laughs> long ass plan if you had an agent in hiding here for 40 ish years you have lost your father now more than ever do i understand how very lucky i am that you were able to save me professor i deeply appreciate what you have done thank you you are if welcome there is anything at all i can do in return please tell me okay I don't think we have any gifts for you. Uh, never been much for condolences. I've you don't say. Much for condolences. How about a little logic instead? The knights have spread out around Garrig Mock in search of Geralt's murderers. Thus, the monastery's fighting strength is, for the moment at least, depleted. Perhaps that was the enemy's real objective. We should be prepared for further confrontation. 
I mean, I almost guarantee that there's going to be further confrontation, given that we're probably going to be fighting these guys throughout the rest of the game. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's head up the middle area and talk to them. We can also stop by Dad's room. I think I'm going to hold off on that right now. Instead, go talk to everyone else and then go to Dad's room. You've lost someone very dear to you. Just in case it procs new dialogue. So you have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. Oh, no, I'm good. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very strong person. This is true. I am stronger than everyone right now. Level 25, I think. Actually, how, how, how strong am I? 26. Yeah, so... I think Petra is the closest second one, and then... Who else? I don't know. Hi. I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss okay it's about the weapon that killed gerald will you listen sure it was a dagger but i know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger it wasn't made of iron or steel because well because whatever it was the wound it left wasn't normal okay so like Could dark magic like that do you figure oh you have something else I wonder who they were. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm surprised we... That's all you had to say for that second dialogue. <laughs> kind of weird, actually. We'll go in there in a second. Let's go talk to Rhea and Sedith, I believe, is up here. Well... I don't think we're going to be able to train in axes this month because Aloise isn't here. Professor, how are you holding up? I know how heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain. As if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. I'll find it once I kill them. Also, I think I have a statuette for you. Here you go. Oh, I adore this. I know, that's why I gave it to you. And then there's Sedith. Hello. There's Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different Yeah, person. I don't know why you let her return! As if perhaps the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Yeah, Thinking of probably. It, like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not Magic. understand. Eh, nothing there. I was actually going to try to hopefully try to recruit you. Like, then again, well, no, he's not a mage, right? He's a, he's a wyvern knight, which is pretty dope. And I think we've talked to everybody else. Right now, yeah. No one has any new dialogue. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll handle the lost items really? next time I explore. Uh, but today I think we're gonna do most- Oh, Jesus Christ, so did. <laughs> so this, not so does. Um, what up, girl? Oh, is something hiding just behind that book? What book? A small little bag with a ring inside. That ring? I have seen it before. I Whoa, know. animation! Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? Yeah, it was a wedding ring, right? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. Whoa. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Okay. That's it? That's all we did here? He also said that... Okay. I'm not gonna give that to anyone right now. But... Thanks? Is that all we needed to do here? Should we read that book again? Like, I feel like we should have read that book. Is that it? Oh, okay. Um. Sure. <laughs> I guess we'll go eat now. I think we're doing pretty good on motivation. I might train with Rhea. 
We have no support still. Hmm, and I do have some flowers to give. So we're pretty much waiting on Mariana, Leone, uh, Ingrid to offer to join the house, right? We can work on Felix. You know, maybe Ash. Well, eh, we should probably go with Annette, right? Because she's actually ranked C. But I kind of feel bad because we already killed Ash's father at the beginning. Like the first mission in the game, we killed his father, so. Hmm. Well, we can take both Felix and Annette out to lunch. Uh, today's special is... Not there. Okay, let's come here. We have Felix and... No. I mean, I, I, I kind of like it if, like... Yeah, okay. So, we'll, we'll grab... Actually, one, one second. So, Annette's not there, but there are bonus points here. Okay, so, yeah. We'll do these two. There you go. The spice vegetables today. That looks appetizing. I guess. Kind of looks like a bowl of mush. <laughs> I love this stuff. What else is there? Ah, oh, there's biscuits. And... Like carrots? And green beans, I think? And I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's... Those are potatoes, I think. Are those slabs of meat or bread? I have no goddamn idea. Alright, what's on today's special? Uh, I guess we can get Edelgard and Ferdinand to get them up to snuff with the uh, motivation. I think we have a I think we have everyone. I know why you sat us next to each other. You want to see who can eat more quickly. No. Ferdinand, please stop making everything a competition against you. <laughs> <laughs> uh Alright, how are we oh Oh, Felix and Annette? Okay, we'll watch that in a minute. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, yeah, everyone except for Heineman is, uh, maxed out with motivation. No offense to Heineman there, um, I'm probably not gonna really be using him unless people die. So you're at rank B, you're at rank B. Ash, the dude, you don't even like me. Well, I guess I could... I don't know, I guess I could just get points with some people that I might want to hang out with. Like, I guess, uh, Petra and Ash. I'm probably gonna train swords with Rhea. Get a little extra points with her and increase my swords. I would be liking that greatly. I know. This looks delicious. The first time we've talked, really. Well, no, we, we talk every month, Ash, but still. First time we hung out. Catherine's not available for sword training. Aloise is not available for axe training. I don't think there's anyone else here that can train me right now. Shamir's not here. Yeah, so Sedith is like spares and reason, right? Man uh, Manuela's faith and sword, I think. Reyes, sword, authority, and Faith, Hinnaman's reason, and probably something else. We can try to do a tea time, but I'm, I'm just awful at those. Um, I got some flowers I can give to Annette and Felix and Ash if need be. Oh, I have a, a thing now. With who? With Ash! Alright, well, that was fast. Well, well, we don't have any other points to get with him right now, and Petra has... Oh, <laughs> Petra and Ash! Alright. That's kind of funny. Um... I got five more of these. And I got a lot of people that are ready to level up. Mercedes and Lithia, uh, Lycia and Flane aren't. 
Manuela. Annette. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess... Like, Manuela and... Leone. I think this is the first time in a while that I was, like, this everyone's all motivated dish. when I wasn't really you planning on it. I think I was planning on it, I just kind of forgot. Memory's been kind of that iffy looks lately. Delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Yeah, you do that. And who else? Do Ingrid and... If Flayne's not getting any extra points, which kind of sucks. I guess we could do Ingrid and Sedith to see his... Uh, oh, Marianne. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Ingrid, Marianne. And maybe we'll get, like, a Sedith and a Flayne together. I appreciate any good meal, but... I like this... And... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I've run out... I'm running out of ingredients. That makes a lot of sense. I need, I need better stuff. No one, oh man. Sure, why not? Oh, we need Mercedes. Uh, yeah, sorry, said it. I'd rather get to know Mercedes a little bit more. This is my absolute favorite. I know. How did you know, Professor? The menu told me. This is nearly as delicious. Probably not. Okay, we have two more left. So I think that's one tea time. And one training with Rhea. And then hopefully next week we get a... Well, next time we explore, we get a bunch of flowers. And I can shove them down Ash, Felix, Annette's throats. Excuse me, Professor. I know I forgive me. Just and then me. someone wants to join my house, maybe? Why we oh yeah. Here, have uh some daffodils. I I I I I'm gonna put that right there for now. Do you wanna level up yet? No! Professor, Freya! I know I forgive me. Just know that. Sure, teach me how to swing this sword that I've been using this entire- Oh, you do punching and reason. Wow, right, that's right. You punch things, that's hilarious. Good, but not great. Professor, Sad, I really. Just... Make sure that didn't tip the scales there. No, Professor, okay. I, know. I, I really want to get the, the A with you. So you can have like the I... rest of the daffodils, I, I guess. I appreciate And it's locked. <laughs> of course. Of course. Why did I even expect anything else? Uh, Alright, let's watch... Uh, I guess we don't have to do that from here. We'll watch Petra's here. With Ash. And then we'll go find Ash's. Oh, is that Petra? Looks like she's out shopping. Hey there, young lady. Are you looking to buy, or would you rather Wow, we actually buy? see Anna's body. Just so you know, I thought she was just a no head. Beating my prices. Cry. Beating. Are you wanting to battle me? Uh, no. As in a battle of wills? Trust me, kid. You don't want to waste your life trying to beat me at... Oh, God. Huh? Sword or bow? Which are you fighting with? You have skill with both, I am thinking. Petra, <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you fighting? What what did she say? I was asked to be coming here and do the shopping, but then this merchant gave me her challenge. Oh man. <laughs> huh? This has to be a misunderstanding. Probably. Look, I'll help you. What were you trying to buy? We are needing vulneraries. Many people make use of them and our stock is lowly. <laughs> lowly? Uh, just leave this to me. 
Come on, isn't that price a little high? Surely you can afford to go a bit lower. Are you kidding? This is even lower than my Oh, she's getting mad. Rate. Her eyes are very really? pixelated. Because the shop over by the gates is selling the same item for a little more than half that. Guess I'll have to head back there after all. Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Here's the deal. I'll give you another 10% off. How's that? Make it 20% and you've got a deal. Oh, Ash is a merchant, huh? Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. Or at least a negotiator. Fine. 20%. But you better be grateful. I am. I'm not getting any of these, am the I? shopping was successful. You have my gratitude, Ash. Not a problem. I'm used to this sort of thing. <sighs> Bargaining for prices in Fodland is complicated. I am thankful for this bargain. Now the extra can be given back to our professor. Oh, please! I would like some. I had learnings about the customs of Fodlin. I have gratitude for that, too. Uh, I wouldn't call it a custom, exactly. <laughs> Customer, yes. It's just a yes. trick we commoners use to save money. Efficiency with money is a wonderful culture. I promise you, it's really nothing special. No, it's smart. You should save money if you can. You shouldn't buy things you don't exactly need. Sometimes you shouldn't buy things that you should want, yeah, but sometimes you gotta indulge yourself. I want to go over there, thank you. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag, right? You have money if you, and you can kind of spoil yourself a little bit. You shouldn't do that too often, unless you're rich. Or if you are, I'm jealous. But at the same time, like, you gotta be frugal sometimes. I thought that was Ash for a second. I was like, how did you get up there? Professor. Hi. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. I guess. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Sure. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. You like shopping, huh? To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. Maybe you are a merchant. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. Uh, yeah, you're quite the shopper. Or, thanks for your bartering suit. Yes, yeah, sure. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. And then I killed him. Come to think of it, you were to be fair, a mercenary, weren't you? You betrayed everyone. I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. Uh, you're probably right. It sounds a lot more exciting, though. Traveling the world from conflict to conflict. But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. I mean, I didn't even know how old I was until, like, j just recently. Uh, it was pretty tough. It wasn't so bad. I'll just say it wasn't so bad. I guess I had the- I was what? I was the Ashen Demon, right? Wow, I guess you must get used to it. That's really incredible, though. Oh! Ah! What? What? I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Uh, what's the book? Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Is this an adult Lug tale, is the Ash? King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! What the? No! Creep, don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief! Cut him in half like my prices! Alright, yeah, Please, I'm in! calm down. No, please. Ash, shut up! You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to come. Ash, no! You. Kill! You sure about that? I know, we can go chase him. I'll get a huh? sword that extends. Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Yeah. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back. Just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. You're gonna die, aren't you? He's gonna die. The two of us are just standing there like, well, that's the last time we'll ever see him. Alright, so now I have one more action to do. Yeah, and I don't know what to do. I guess tea time. Who should we do? Who do I... Who else? Oh, right. Actually, Felix and Annette. Forgot about that. 
Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. What? <laughs> now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. Oh, this is a good song. I hope I'm not interrupting. You are interrupting. Felix, you weren't listening, were you? The whole monastery was listening. Well, I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. <laughs> you have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering your plants. <laughs> Internal demon struggling. You're evil, Felix! And you're shouting. <laughs> people while they're singing without even saying anything yes you can it's not right. you're in the garden i actually did call out that i was coming in it's not my fault you didn't hear well you need to speak louder then oh this is so embarrassing <laughs> and of course i was singing some silly food song i made up i should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties i didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties why are we calling them beasties that food songs seem to be close to your heart your stomach isn't far from your heart, after all. Anatomy! Oh, you are the worst! <laughs> huh. What was that? I wasn't about to say, at least he has a f sense of humor, but I, I guess he was serious. These plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing. No, he has a sense of humor. <laughs> How old's <is> Annette? <laughs> just, just, just ask. Oh, I can't even check. She's not in my house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a weird song. Okay, so now, I guess I will, of course she's in the kitchen too, uh, I guess I'll ask her to come out to tea time? Hi. I'm so glad, oh, we were thinking. Do you both want to come to tea time? Right. No, okay, fine, be that way, Annette. Alright, game. You're messing with me now. Seriously, you are messing with me. That was not here earlier. Maybe, maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe I didn't look over there. I thought I did. What do you train? You train axes. Okay. So I guess I'll train axes with you. And it was great! Skill up. You now have the D in axe. I still have much to learn. This is true. I think you need like an A. Is that true? What do you need for a hero? Oh, you need a C. That's not too bad. 48%? Worth a shot, maybe. Almost a coin toss. I'm really still not exactly sure how those work. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a guaranteed like percentage chance, like if it's random or... Not random, but like based on the percent when you do the wow. uh, certificate, or if it's like kind of set in stone type deal when you uh, get to a week. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try. I want to try getting Grappler for... Uh, what's his face? Casper, why am I having a hard time with his name? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and we'll end the day, because I'm pretty sure everyone else is done talking. I could search for more stuff, I don't really want to. I could, uh, fish as well, but I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and end today, and see what's going on. Oh, yeah, right, we're doing Rare Beasts next week. We're doing Combat. Lovely combat. Instruct manually, absolutely. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, we gotta work on her reason, which is insane. I'm working on Swords of Flame, even though she's bad with swords. Well, she's doing Faith and Reason, but I need to get her up for swords, because she can now actually... Oh, she's not bad with swords, she just doesn't have an improvement with swords. Huh! I thought she had a down arrow with swords. Huh, alright. That's fine. No, keep getting great. Keep getting great or perfect, please. All thanks to your help. I know. Uh Caspar, we're still working on punching with you, I think. I'm gonna try to get you up to that A. That Please get it perfect? Way. Uh, 
Bernie, you're you're good. Petra, you're good. Mercedes, Lysithia. Oh, I'm working on swords. You, because you're bad at swords. Than I thought. But you have a hidden talent for them. Don't stop. Keep it coming. <laughs> at least you're honest with yourself. And sword prowess. Mm. Another star. Okay. So we got a few more training with her, got it. and then uh, she'll master that. Petra, I mean, to be honest, you're better than all at all these than me, so... Yeah, I don't know. You want to teach me how to use a sword? Hey, you're perfect. You are giving me praise? I will get more soon. <laughs> you're... All right. Your At least you perfect is something. How many will we get? Two more. Um. So I guess Mercedes. We're working on bow with you. <laughs> she got really excited there. Now I feel like I'm getting. Were you using a bow in the first combat? Like the first house battle we had when we first got here. She was using a bow, wasn't she? Is this really something I can do? All right, so she's good there, and she'll never use a bow again. And you're right. I gotta, I gotta teach you some authority. Thank you. Cause good lord, you have none, <laughs> like at all. Yes. And one more. I don't know who. I guess you to get more priest stuff? Make you a bishop? Am I making you a bishop? I might be making you a bishop. I have no idea. I've grasped it. Oh, good job on the perfect. You're quite Oh, two perfects in a row. You're my best student today. Um for group task, I think it's still you and Ferdinand. I did change some goals over, I think. No, I didn't. Oh, right. <sighs> right. So, I'm not sure how good of a mortal savant she's gonna be. Like, sword she's got. Her reason, though? Okay, she doesn't have the sword right now. But... This is like a reason class, yeah? It allows her to do, you know, healing as well. That's probably more suited for her, right? You know what? No, I want Manuela to be a mortal savant. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get it, but I want her to be a mortal savant. There you go. She has poor learning for it. I know. I get it. But she only needs to get, like, a... B. And then I could probably just chance it. Maybe. How are you doing down here? 30, 70. That might be worth chancing too. Alright, let's go ahead and begin the lecture. Tell me something. Uh, okay, what do you want to know? Penguins can't fly? Uh, pretty soon, I'll be eating everything they have to offer in the dining hall. Then, the, what am I supposed to do? Keep eating the same boring meals over and over again. You try cooking something new. You assess a new dish on your own. You should try to enjoy just what you've got. Uh, try cooking something new, you lazy son of a gun. I'm not sure about Yeah, I know, because you're lazy. <laughs> Flame's laughing. <laughs> Professor. Uh, War Master? Uh, yeah, actually, sure. I think that's like the biggest goal you have right now is become a war master. All right, Marianne Le Leone wants to join the house. All right, cool. Hey, glad I caught you. You're a physical Can I fighter ask you a too, favor? right? I'd really like to join your class. You're the only one who knows how to teach like Captain Gerald. You get what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I knew you'd understand. 
thanks to you, I'm going to be the best mercenary you've ever seen. Sure. Just watch. Should I make you a mercenary class? Come on, Marianne. Ingrid. Come on. God damn it. That's a shame. Leave it to me. I can handle it all by myself. By yourself? You think I if I saved and reloaded, it would work? Oh, I suppose that is true. Sorry, hmm. I got quite ahead of myself. You know, that was pretty good. I suppose I should say thanks. So, thanks. Hey, that's new dialogue. Perhaps if you did not despise me so, we would have done better. Oh no. Oh my, it's the first good. Maybe I can try that after these battles. Oh, uh, sure. I could try it after these battles. Why is Hubert here? Must I? Fine. Why is he always here but with Dorothea? Do you like? I thought you hated the church. I'll keep my voice down. It says so in your Don't thing. Want people thinking I'm vying for attention, but how loud is too loud? I don't know, like peaking loud. Oh, sweet. Practice yields results. I guess. <laughs> Can make myself a white mage. I mean, I am maxed out on it's Ray's birthday. Okay, I'll just buy her flowers. I, I want a tea time. I would have feel that too. All right, so we have battles today. We're gonna do rare monster sighting, and I think I'm gonna. Can you not be a mercenary? You can't. You need sword training. Your cavil. Oh. I thought you want to be a. Mer oh, you know what? We. She wants to be a paladin, like Gerald, doesn't she? Okay. We can do that. Kind of want to make her a mercenary, but we can do that too. Uh, Flane, you're good there. Manuela, can you actually... You cannot get to this. Oh, you can. 67, though. I don't know if I want to make you that. I like your outfit. Shamir, you're already advanced. Kronos. <sighs> I got a he... Ah, 48%. 32. Maybe I should go Swordmaster instead. What's Vantage? Oh, that's not bad. Sword Crit plus 10. Hmm, I don't know. You get more HP. High Strength and Speed. With Speed and Grace. Though you... So, okay, so Hero probably has more in the way of... Uh, what's it called? Strength gains. This one, more dexterity and speed, though the strength right now seems to be the same. The sword crit would probably be good too. Vantage would also be pretty good. So, let's be honest, it's a 48% chance. So, it's not like that's probably going to exactly happen. Alright, let's see what we have here. I want to try... I'm gonna save before I do it. It's kind of save scummy, but at the same time, I don't want to waste the advanced sales. So 70% chance there, and you're max with brawler, right? Yeah, you've been max with brawler. Man, your strength is kind of low. Damn, we should make you a warlock. Get that uh, 19 res there. Good lord. Actually, can we do that? Like, <laughs> say we come up here. You'd gain one. You gain two res resistance. But if I come up here and be like. Huh. I mean, I guess that would be a, a pretty dumb way of actually getting 
I mean, it'd be good, but it'd be dumb at the same time, right? Because I'd have to spend some time um, leveling up their skills. Oh, we got more supports for Hubert and Dorothy. All right, you know what? We'll watch this, and we'll get the battles next time. Hey there, Hubie. I've been thinking about our conversation the other day, and I've just got to know, do you really love Aidy? If it's one or the other, I suppose it would be closer to love than to hate. Why? Ah, uh, I knew it! That's why <laughs> you work so hard for Aidy. Oh, Hubie, I finally get you. You're just another servant suffering from unrequited love for their mistress. <laughs> you completely misunderstand. Unrequited love. Do I really look like the kind of drooling simpleton to have that kind of motivation? I've seen I Twilight. Yes, yes. But I know you just argue. Fine, Actually, I haven't Huey, seen Twilight. <laughs> I just know they glow. My situation is simple. I am walking a path. Oh, do go on. Everyone has a path in life. Lady Edelgard has shown me mine. It is just beside her own. So we walk together side by side. We stride ever forward, yielding to nothing and to no one. So, you're sharing the same dream? <laughs> Bluntly, yes. But it's more than just a shared dream. I have many feelings toward Lady Edelgard. Gratitude, respect. Awe, empathy, trust, hope. Okay. I was teasing you, but I gotta say I'm just a little bit jealous of you and Aidy. <laughs> that you're able to embrace these feelings and stride forward along the same path. You're lucky, Hubie. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to experience anything so utterly operatic. I mean, you're a singer, so yes, you Why would. Why not? Because I figure the best quality in a partner would be that they make me happy. That's one. And loving another is really about wanting to be loved. There are many I'm qualities sure and people that you should look for when you go for love. Making you happy is one of them. That definitely one of them. Like supportive, also another one. And how to put it, the. And someone who can be hard on you, but in a loving way. So, like, when you mess something up, they can be blunt with you, but in a way that you know they care about you. Not someone that's just going to jump down your throat. All right, so that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're enting watching my live stream at twitch.tv slash give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.